What if I told you there's a train so advanced it doesn't just survive earthquakes, it beats them? A train that detects a deadly quake before it strikes, slams the brakes at 320 kilometers per hour, and comes to a full stop before the ground even begins to shake. No other train on Earth can do this. And yet, Japan's Shinkansen has done it for over 60 years. 10 billion passengers, zero deaths from derailments or collisions, not one. While the US averages 2,800 train derailments a year, and India sees 24,000 railway-related deaths annually, Japan built something the rest of the world still can't wrap its head around. A high-speed, earthquake-proof machine that never compromises on speed, safety, or sanity. This isn't science fiction. This is real. And by the time you finish this video, you'll never look at trains the same way again. Let's go! How the Shinkansen outsmarted earthquakes. So here's the challenge. Japan sits on four tectonic plates. It's one of the most seismically active places on Earth. Earthquakes aren't rare, they're expected. So how do you build a train that flies at 320 kilometers per hour across this land? How do you engineer something that stays stable even when the Earth is trying to shake it apart? Enter UREDAS, short for Urgent Earthquake Detection and Alarm System. This isn't just early warning tech, this is reflex, hardwired into steel. Here's how it works. Along the entire length of the Shinkansen network, dozens of seismic sensors are buried into the Earth. These aren't placed randomly. They're positioned with surgical precision near fault lines, bridges, tunnels, every point of vulnerability. These sensors are always awake, scanning the Earth for P waves, the fast, faint seismic signals that come before the real shaking starts. P waves don't cause damage, but they're like the whisper before the scream. The moment a P wave is detected, URE days triggers a fully automatic response. Power to the trains is cut. Emergency brakes engage. No human needs to do anything. From full speed, the Shinkansen can stop in 300 to 500 meters. That's faster than a Formula One car. That's because it doesn't rely on just one system. It combines regenerative braking, electrodynamic systems, and friction pads. All tuned to precision. 2011 Tohoku Earthquake. A magnitude 9.0 Monster 27. Shinkansen trains were in motion. All stopped safely. One test train derailed at low speed, but there were zero injuries. Not one passenger was harmed. And after the quake, Japan didn't wait. They upgraded everything. They added AI-based risk prediction, real-time track monitoring, redundant power and braking systems, and in the N700S, a world-first self-propelling batteries. Even if power goes out completely, the train can drive itself to safety. No other country on Earth has built anything like this because Japan wasn't building for good weather. They built for the worst day imaginable and then made that the benchmark. And the best part? Earthquake protection is just one piece of the Shinkansen's brilliance. The engineering masterpiece. Why the Shinkansen is built different? You've seen how it survives disaster. Now let's talk about how it performs in everyday perfection. The Shinkansen isn't just safe. It's a technological marvel. Every bolt, every curve, every line of code is there for a reason. Take the N700S, the Supreme, the most advanced train in the fleet. It doesn't just run on rails, it adapts, it listens, it learns. Its self-propelling battery system can carry it through tunnels, off bridges, away from danger zones without a live power line. That's never been done before in any high-speed train. Now let's talk tilting. When most trains hit a curve, they slow down. But the Shinkansen doesn't. It leans just like a motorcycle. The hydraulic tilt system adjusts in real time to the track's curvature, letting it maintain high speed while passengers barely feel a sway. Its nose? Modeled after a kingfisher bird's beak. This isn't marketing, it's biomimicry. The Kingfisher dives into water without a splash. The Shinkansen dives into tunnels without creating pressure waves. That cut tunnel boom noise by 
It also made the train more aerodynamic, more energy efficient. Now look beneath the wheels. The track alignment is fanatical. Rails are monitored and adjusted so they never deviate more than two millimeters. That's less than the width of a coin. The result? A ride so smooth it feels like floating. No rattle, no shake, no scream, just silence and speed. And all of this while staying punctual down to the second. The seven minute miracle, how Japan redefined efficiency. Let's talk about what happens the moment a Shinkansen pulls into a station. Most countries would give it 30 minutes to clean and prep. Japan gives it seven. They call it the seven minute miracle. And it's exactly that. A team of highly trained cleaners, sometimes referred to as the bullet train ballet, board the 16 car train with military precision. Over 1,300 seats, tray tables, windows, toilets, trash. In exactly 420 seconds, the entire train is spotless and reset. The seats rotated to face the right direction. The trays sanitized, the floors swept, the headrests replaced. And when they're done, the team lines up and bows, not just to the train, but to the passengers waiting to board. It's efficiency, but it's also respect, a culture of care baked into national infrastructure. Now compare that to most trains worldwide, where late arrivals and crumbs on the seat are just part of the deal. But the Shinkansen isn't late, ever. The average annual delay, 54 seconds, not per train, per year. Earthquakes, snowstorms, typhoons, it just keeps moving, on time, every time. The speed race, how fast can it go? Let's not forget, this is still a bullet train. When the Shinkansen debuted in 1964, it hit 210 kilometers per hour. That made headlines. That made history. But Japan didn't stop there. Today's top speed? 320 kilometers per hour every single day. Testing speed? 382 kilometers per hour on the Alpha X prototype. Japan's next gen train designed to push boundaries. And then there's the Maglev. Japan's L0 series. Maglev isn't a train anymore. It's a magnetic force gliding at 603 kilometers per hour. That's faster than most commercial jets at takeoff. The Tokyo Nagoya Maglev line is under construction. And when it opens, it'll shrink travel time from 90 minutes to just 40. No wheels, no friction, just levitation and raw speed. While most countries are still struggling to hit 250 kilometers per hour, Japan is redefining what fast even means. And through it all, the safety record remains perfect. The final comparison? Why hasn't the world copied this? You're probably thinking, why hasn't everyone done this? Why isn't the whole world riding trains like this? The truth, because it's not just about the train. It's about vision and Japan had it. Most countries look at infrastructure as a cost. Japan saw it as a legacy, a chance to leap into the future. Meanwhile, in the US, the California high-speed rail has been stuck since 2008. Billions spent, zero trains running. Europe has high-speed trains, sure, but without the obsessive safety, without the precision, without the punctuality, in developing countries, High-speed rail is a dream deferred, overshadowed by airports and highways. And yet, Japan has shared its playbook. Taiwan's bullet train, built on Shinkansen Tech, India's Mumbai Ahmedabad line, also powered by Japan. Even the US has a shot. Texas Central is planning to use the N700S. So, the tech exists. The blueprints are public. The engineers are ready. What's missing? is the will to build beyond the election cycle. The mind-blowing outrow, the legacy of the bullet train. The Shinkansen isn't just a machine. It's a philosophy, a promise, and a warning. It proves that speed and safety can live together. That discipline and innovation aren't opposites. That design matters. That the future isn't something we wait for. It's something we build. 10 billion passengers, 60 plus years, 
no fatalities, not in one of the safest places on Earth, but in one of the most dangerous. That's what makes it astonishing. It's not just about getting from point A to B. It's about how you treat people along the way. Should every country have this? That's up to us. Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if this opened your eyes, hit subscribe because we're just getting started from mega projects to the untold stories of engineering marvels. This channel is about the ideas that move the world. And truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching all the way to the end because you don't just watch, you think, you care. And that's exactly who this was made for.